Hello everybody and welcome to today's video. Just a quick disclaimer before we get started that this is a re-upload. YouTube and Nintendo are working together to block our videos about this subject. That's why you'll find that certain parts of this video are muted out. That's why they won't be able to find it, but you will. So I wish you the best of luck. Thank you so much to all the new subscribers these days. While they're blocking my videos, it's very hard to keep this content going while they do that. It's kind of discouraging, so... If you guys want to check out one of my other videos that I just posted recently that has nothing to do with this subject, I'm very proud of this futuristic Japanese island that I built. I would love it if you would check it out. The link is in the description below. And without any further ado, here is today's video. Hello everyone and welcome back to another exciting episode of Animal Crossing's New Horizons with me, Witness. I hope you're all having a fantastic day because I'm about to show you my new and imp- If you saw the title of the video, you already know exactly how much we are making in an hour and I'm about to show you exactly how you can do it too. But, if any of you are wondering what we are going to do with all these Nook Miles tickets, I'll tell you! At 1,000 subscribers, we are giving away 1,000 Nook Miles tickets to one of you! The giveaway will be exactly like my current giveaway that ends later this week on May 22nd. I'll leave a link to the current giveaway so you can join for a chance to be one of the 50 subscribers to get a rare Animal Crossing item delivered straight to their island. We'll be giving away robot heroes, spaceships, stacks of gold nuggets, and more. So subscribe to my channel and click that link below to join. But now it's time for the- I'll be putting a timer on the screen so you can see exactly how long it takes me to earn these bells. But before I start, I do need to go over the requirements. It's very simple, anyone can do this. You will need three residents on your island. That means if you're a solo player, you need to create two Nintendo accounts and load them into Animal Crossing. Once you have your three residents, it's wise of you to move your mailbox right next to the plaza. To move your mailbox, you'll need at least three rooms in your house. And then the next step is to mail the 8 items of your choosing that you want to duplicate to the resident that has their mailbox close to the plaza. Now that I've mailed my 8 items, it's time to start the timer and call my resident. I will be calling the resident that I mailed all the items to. That is Lori that I mailed all 8 of them to. Once you're loaded in, you're just going to simply check that your mailbox has those items. An easy way to do that is to walk into the plaza and walk back out. Now you load into your character 1, load into your character 2, and I'll be switching the ownership so that character 2 can run around freely and go inside the building on their own. All this is doing is just resetting the mail so I do have all those items in my mailbox. And to just double check that I do have the items. And I do, so now we are going to wait. Normally in the last the session here, but I found that it is faster to wait for the next autosave. I'll be looking up in the top right hand corner, and I'll be looking for the little indicator that says that it is autosaving, and as soon as it does that, I'm free to go ahead and put the items into my inventory. Now that it's autosaving, I can access the mailbox. I'm going to take all these items that are there and I'm going to put them straight into my pockets. I'm not going to open them. I'm not going to put them on the floor. And these are all Nook Miles tickets that I mailed myself. And these are the items I'm going to put them all into my pockets. We are on a time constraint. We are racing against the autosave. If you see the spinning wheel in the upper right hand corner, I was too slow and we're going to have to try again. But now it's just as simple as switching ownerships back to the main character. And then this is where your third resident comes into play. You're going to be pick residents again. And you're going to call that third resident. This is where you're tricking Nintendo. It doesn't auto-save. It doesn't save that second character taking those items out of their mailbox. So it has no idea that those items have left the mailbox. It thinks they're still there. Once we're done with this loading screen, we'll just simply end the session. Load in. Load in. And now we can end the session. Call Lori back. And the item should be in our mailbox. Yes, end session, and we're at three minutes. And now that we're back at the house, I'll be calling my resident that has the items in their mailbox. A quick tip for somebody that is playing solo, I would get on an alternate character, maybe the second resident or third resident, and mail the items to your main character. That way, they, that main character, if they have three rooms in their house, they can move their mailbox close to the plaza. 
a good tip for a solo player. But now we're back in the game when we're on a time constraint because we are not going to go for the autosave this time. We're going to go straight for the mailbox. We think we have enough time to get those items out before it autosaves. Open up the mailbox and those items are there. So we did a first success. And with this new method, I found that I am never having to mail the items more than once. It's very easy to make sure that the game does not save after you've taken the items out of the mailbox. And once your inventory gets full, I'll show you exactly how I manage that to where we don't need to take a break and we don't ever need to mail ourselves items ever again. We're doing the exact same thing we did before. Once we took those items out of the mailbox, we're calling that third resident and it is not saving what we did on that character. So that's two rounds of That's 16 Nook Miles tickets before even five minutes. Here, I'm gonna load in here. Load in here and we're just gonna end the session. This is where it gets really fast. We're just gonna keep repeating that process and the numbers are just gonna skyrocket. I do wanna show you what I do when my inventory gets full because you can manage to do this easily. It is just a matter of paying attention to the autosave and knowing the mechanics of it. Knowing that if you take an item out of that mailbox and it saves, you're donezo. So making sure to wait for those autosaves if you have to. Very important. We're going to be calling back that resident that has the items in their mailbox. And we'll be loading in. And loading in. I'm just going to make sure that the items are in the mailbox that we did. And then I'm going to go through an example of what to do when your inventory gets full. Because not everybody has 40 spaces of inventory. Not everybody has unlocked that just yet. Some of you are still working with two rows of inventory. Maybe three rows. Oh, I did start taking them out actually. So I'm going to complete this one just so the sake of not mailing them again. And then I'll show you what to do when your inventory gets full. Now we're going to switch back, switch back, pick resident, and now our inventory is actually getting pretty close to being full. Doing 8 items with 40 inventory slots, you should be able to do 5 having to empty your inventory. But even emptying your inventory and taking that extra time on that character, it's not going to make you need to remail those letters. That's the best part about this rolling. Now we're almost at 7 minutes and we should have, I'll double check the inventory in a little bit just to make sure exactly how many we do have, but it is a hefty number of Nook Miles tickets that we're working with so far. And the session once you're on that character, so it saves you and that character, it saves you and your third resident, not the second resident that has those items outside of the mailbox. A good tip to do if you get this I would turn off auto updates, that way you can do this quickly until your heart is content. That's what I've been doing. Pull back that resident, I'm going to show you what's in the inventory. We're not even going to touch the mailbox. I'll show you how we can do this. It, it feels like you're rushed during the section of the glitch, it does. But I can show you how you can stay calm, relaxed, and empty your inventory without having to worry about... No. Now that we're on this character, we'll switch over, double check the inventory, and look at all these. I have a little field over here that I've been dropping them off at, so I will go ahead and drop these off. I might fast forward through this video so you don't have to watch this. I will keep the timer going though, so you can see exactly how long it's taken us to drop everything. And then once everything's dropped, I'll show you what we're going to do for the next step of the sure. We don't mess this up and we don't have to mail those items to ourselves again. This is what keeps it going fast. Alright, we have dumped everything out of our inventory. We're ready to start fresh. We have all these empty inventory spaces. Except, of course, for our bamboo wand so we can stay spicy. And here's what we're looking for. Once everything's dumped, you're looking in the top right hand corner. You're waiting for that auto save. That is your timer. That means that you have like a minute, minute and a half, something like that. Maybe even way less. Get those items back into your inventory and then leave before it saves again. It's okay that it saves beforehand, it's already saved. 
taking that time to drop all those items. It did autosave, but now there are still items in our mailbox. So during that autosave, it knows that there's items there, and then we're going to beat it. We're going to take those items out of the mailbox and beat the autosave so it doesn't know that there's items in there. Or it, it thinks that there's items in there, but there is not. Now that the autosave is happening, we can access our mailbox. We'll show it again, but that's okay, it's just loading the mailbox. And then now we're back in, we got these. We're gonna take them all out, we're not gonna open them, we're not gonna drop them, we're just gonna continue the process. And that is an example of emptying your inventory, keeping the dupe going, so you don't have to keep mailing yourself. And let's empty all of these, let's switch characters. Let's go back to our third resident. Now, if you're wondering how you can skip the dialogue faster, you can always press B just one time and it'll zoom past the dialogue. Make sure not to spam B though, because you might exit out of the dialogue conversation entirely. Just press B once, it'll speed up the dialogue. Now that we're back with our third resident, just load back in. Load back in. We're at the 12 minute marker and it looks like we probably have about 40 items. To we can double check though. We're going to end the session. And we're calling that resident that has the items in their mailbox. At this point in the video, you probably understand exactly You know how you can do it yourself. I'm simply showing you the consistency of it and how you can keep the going for 12 minutes, 13, 15, 20 minutes. You can do it for an entire hour without having to ever stop or slow down and go and mailing yourself some items. It makes this process incredibly fast when you just stick it out and do it for an hour. You can do so much for yourself that you never have to come back. Which characters? Sorry to push you out of the way, Sky. Gotta get through. And there they are again. We emptied our inventory in that last round and these items are still here. Oh, the duplicate is working perfectly. I'm so glad that we were able to master this. I hope you guys are enjoying this new I hope you guys are taking this time to do something crazy with your island that you never thought you would be able to do. Quickly just check how many items we have in our inventory. We almost have two rows, that's almost 20, and then we had a little bit over 20 the last time. So yes, we're at 40 items by 1335. Calling that third resident back. Ending the session and just repeating and rinsing. Works really well if you do have those 40 spaces in, in your inventory so you don't have to take a time to empty your inventory. Having that big inventory is really going to help you. And now that you have all these Nook Miles tickets, you can spend your miles on more things that aren't tickets. Maybe you're trying to get all the terraforming, maybe you're trying to get all the gates. Whatever your heart desires, you now have the miles for it because you're not spending them on Nook Miles tickets. Ending the session, going back. We're doing it again. And now that we're loaded back in, I'm just going to go ahead and do this one more time. Stop this video around 15 minutes. And look at all these items that we've successfully duplicated. It just keeps coming. We we're probably at 15, 50 items by 15 minutes. So let's say 200 Nook Miles tickets in an hour. We'll do the math to see how many uh, bells you'll make if you're doing gold nuggets. Gold nuggets, a stack of them sells for 300,000 each. So if you're doing 8 each time, or if you're doing 200, 200 times, we'll do the math, we'll put it on the screen. But, 15 minutes we were able to do 50 items, and I think that's pretty impressive. Thank you so much, live witness, this is commentary witness coming back at you with an update on the video. 200 Nook Miles tickets in an hour, or 60 million bells, it's up to you guys. Thank you so much for tuning into today's episode. If you didn't catch it earlier, I did mention that we're giving away 1,000 Nook Miles tickets as soon as we hit 1,000 subscribers, so hit that subscribe button and maybe you will be the lucky one that gets 1,000 Nook Miles tickets. If you're feeling a little frisky and you want to do another giveaway, check out my last video. I'm giving away 50 rare items. The most rare items, robot heroes, spaceships, stacks of gold nuggets, whatever your heart desires, we're giving it away to 50 subscribers. 
There's a link in the video below. Just click it, join the contest. All you need is an email and you're signed up. It ends on May 22nd. That's this Friday. I'm posting this video in the beginning of the week, so I hope you have a chance to check it out. Guys, thank you so much again for tuning into the video, and I hope it goes well. This is an insane method for making bells and Nook Miles tickets, and I'm very, very happy to share it with you. So, until next time, guys. Peace!